Hello, folks. You know, when Ilea told me there was a 50-year class reunion and it was going to be at the 1015 State Company, I was all in. I had a good time at the 25th, so figure this was going to be fun, too. Well, Ilea thought it would be great fun to get everyone together the night before at our house in the garden, sit around the fire, you know, and uh, I was all in for that, too. While well, refreshments and food were abundant, Nylea and I showed her classmates and guests around the garden. Not long after that, I lit the fire and everybody settled down in their chairs and the storytelling began. I sure learned a lot about this class listening to this story, some of them downright hilarious. You know, and they actually had to learn math and longhand back then. You guys say, huh? So here now, sit back and enjoy the sights and sounds, and include a bit of airborne video from my DJI Phantom quadcopter.
interesting to see everyone. Barb and I haven't changed much. All you guys have got some food in well, we have a number of classmates that we contacted. I think we only got about six letters that were returned to us. Address. We want you to recall one memory of high school, and then we're going to share it. So one memory. You can be thinking about it while we see. That wouldn't be very good. There are no rules. <laughs> this will this will be a, a memory for you. You remember Garrett Rickman? Yeah. Ninth grade science. Well, one of the things he had us do as a science project was to build an electric motor. Oh that? my! Well, I wasn't very good at electric motors. So then another project we had was we had to build a weather instrument. A weather instrument. Remember that? Well, so it started to sweat. We had a thermometer in there. I said, I think that's what I'd like my weather instrument to be too. So I used it kind of his. <laughs> As it turned out, I got a D minus in general science, and all I learned from that was Arnie and Sid weren't very good scientists. <laughs> Susan, you're on. Yeah.